told us for 6 o'clock started to rain cats and dogs again we've been having this for the past few nights and uh, it really is different last year it wasn't like this I mean it was El Mingo so hardly any uh, rain last year this go around Going into La Nina, it's like this. Like in 2020, it was like this. So La Nina make a big difference in uh, in the weather. So we might have a typhoon by the look of it. Yeah, fun a minute. August 5th, around 5 o'clock. So they harvested the um, vermin and uh, I think it's 15. Can you see Atuya? Yeah, 15. 15. The, uh, the seeds are still green so they had to stop. According to the buyer it's another five days. So we're gonna wait five days. Actually the schedule for this is next week. So it's about right. So we're harvesting amyan and I don't know how many we got. So this is the, this side is 7,000 square meter. So we'll see, we should, we should have data on this. Sadly I don't have the uh, samples. Let's see. If you look at the stubble. And the wastage, as you can see, there's a lot of waste, and that is what should have been part of the yield. It is not. So, I mean, my goodness, there's a lot. Yeah. So, what do I expect? Uh, <laughs> I actually expected. Uh, I expected dry season and wet season yield to be the same, and it turned out not. And if, if we look at the panicles, one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 tellers actually if you, if you really want to make this easy for yourself just cut 25 hill like that's a hill, cut 25 and then weigh the, uh, the, weigh the panicles or spikelets if you're really interested in harvest index and biomass, uh, frankly, wet season. If you believe you can do better, like four metric tons or five metric tons, I'm happy for you. You can't really do too much for uh, wet season. Wow. Well, Oh, how is it? green. Huh? green. It's 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 we schedule that again next week. What is the toy? It's a toy. 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 It's a to
Sip. Ano yung pagkatangas ba ito yung tubo? Okay. Ano niya pati... Well, based from uh, my understanding, we did a little bit better here. Uh, I will have to see how better is better. It's a little bit over, uh, let's see, 100 kabans or 100 sacks of rice per hectare. So it's good. I don't know how many we got. And uh, with, with the weather like the way it is, I mean it rained cats and dogs last night. The rice field is, is really muddy. And uh, when the, the problem here, when the, the rice Tellers are being, <laughs> uh, it's not funny really. So when the rice is toppled, this thing has no choice but to go down. And it brings the mud along with the, uh, with the panicle or spikelets. As you can see, there's a lot of waste. It doesn't really difficult to get to the rice uh, trash inside so it, it really is challenging yeah so this is growing rice in the Philippines it's challenging and uh, don't expect the don't expect the uh, dry season don't expect the wet season to be the same as dry season I did I expected wet season to be the same yield as dry season it turned out to be a false Premise. Why did I did that? Why did I expect it wet season to be the same as dry season? It is because with split fertilization there was hardly any difference between dry and wet season. And so I then implemented dry split hoping beyond hope that the yield would be uh, very high in compared to dry season. So, and that that's all right. I mean, it, it's a mistake. A lessons learned that I have to learn because uh, it's. I think it was important that I learned that. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.